Hi guys and welcome to a new video, today I have Samsung Galaxy Note 3 with me and today we are going to install the Galaxy Note 8 and the Galaxy S8 ROM for this device, so stay tuned for that. So I am going to split this video into two parts, in the first part I am going to show you how to install this ROM on your Samsung Galaxy Note 3 and in the second part of this video we are going to take a short look on this ROM. So the first thing you need to have to install this ROM is the ROM file of course, you can download the ROM file from the description of this video and you also need TWRP recovery installed on your device. After that the first thing you need to do is to power off your device, so let's do that quickly. Then you need to press the volume up button and the home button and the power button at the same time to get to the recovery mode. So as you can see I have, um, I have the old version of TWRP on my phone because this year is more stable um, when you install this ROM. So the first thing you need to do, to do is to go to the wipe option first and perform a factory reset. After that go to the install option and locate your ROM. In my case it's here, just press on it and swipe to flash. So here you can install the setup language. So let's select English here, press next, press next again press next here you need to say ROM install press next here you need to select your device so I got the international model of the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 so I need to press on this one here and after that say next again here you can um, choose your kernel so I'm going to select this one here which is also for the international model of the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 after that say next again here you can choose your CSC, I will select the one of Germany here, which is DBT. After that press next again. Here you can select the apps you want to have. So here you can see that there are a lot of apps which you can install or not install. Um, after you are done with, after you are finished with that, press on next again and so on. Here you can um, mod your system UI, you can choose this S8 system UI, you can also use this um, system UI with some other features as you can see here with the center clock and so on. You can also use um, the S8 touch with launcher or the S8 touch with launcher with some mods and so on. Right now let's move on, say next again. Here you can also here you can um, enable some other features like um, this emergency button in the power menu or this dual speaker stereo sound together with this um, speaker and this speaker at the bottom and yeah press next again here you can choose your camera so I would prefer to select the Note 7 camera because the Note 7 camera looks pretty identical to the Note 8 camera then press next again here we can choose your sound mods, so I will um, leave it as it is. After that say next again. Here you need to select your location. I am in Europe. Press next again. Um, here you can root your device or install exposed. After you're finished with that press next again. Here you should say full wipe press next and after that the ROM will install. So you now you just need to wait until the ROM is installed. So now the ROM is installed, you can say next here and Take reboot your device and press on next. Now your device will boot to the new system, so you just need to wait until mm. it's finished.
So as you can see the ROM booted up now and it took about 15 minutes so it takes really really long until this ROM is booted up. After the boot up is finished you can select your language, I will select uh, United Kingdom and now let me set up this device quickly. So this here is the ROM, so first of all this ROM is based on a Galaxy Note 7 port, so it is not a real Galaxy Note 8 port, but it's themed to look like a Galaxy Note 8 and a Galaxy S8. So you can see that the system UI, the notification panel looks really really similar to the notification panel which we have on the Galaxy Note 8. You have the same launcher as on the Galaxy Note 8 here as you can see and so on. And yeah, so this ROM here is based on Android 6.0.1, Android Marshmallow. So now let's go to software info and here you can see that it says Android 6.0.1. The security patch is quite old as you can see it's the 1st sept uh, of September 2016 but it shouldn't be a really big problem. So the camera of this ROM is also um, really similar to the Galaxy S8 and the Galaxy Note 7 or Note 8. You can see you got that new UI, you can see you have the settings here, here and so on. On the right side you get you know, some filters, you can also edit these filters, you can download other filters. Here you have some different modes available which is also really nice and the camera works as good as it does on the stock ROM. So this ROM here is based on uh, Samsung Grace UX but it's themed to look like the Dream UX of the Samsung Galaxy S8 and the Note 8. So you can see you get all these Galaxy um, S8 apps on board. You can see you have this Galaxy S8 um, browser here, you have the Galaxy S8 or the Galaxy Note 8. Uh, launcher, the dialer looks also really really similar to the Galaxy Note 8 and the Galaxy S8. The email app is also almost the same. The keyboard looks one one. I mean, the keyboard is identical to the Galaxy Note 8's keyboard. So it's really nice to, to see that there are a lot of things which are themed to look like the, the Galaxy Note 8. You also get the edge panel on board which is also working really really nice as you can see you have all these features. You can also go to the settings and download new edge panels just like on the um, Galaxy Note 7 and yeah. A nice thing about this ROM here is that it also has this multi-user support so you can have different users on your phone. So as you can see now I have the uh, guest here and you can also switch to the normal user as you can see and this here is the lock screen so you can see that you got this Galaxy Note 8 or this Galaxy S8 style lock screen with this new clock style there and yeah you also get the Galaxy S8 or the Galaxy Note 8 style music app from here which is also really nice and the S Pen and all that is also working really really amazing here so you get all that um, Galaxy Note 7 features and they are themed to look like the Galaxy Note 8. And as you can see the S Pen is also working really really nice here, the air command and yeah. So this um, ROM is a Galaxy Note 7 based ROM and the battery life is quite okay so you can definitely get one full day together with this ROM. You'll probably get like six hours of screen on time maybe, maybe even a little bit more than six hours. So I haven't, I haven't tested it already but um, I'm pretty sure that you will get one full day because the battery is draining really really slow. Um, right now. Now let's get into the device maintainers because I want to show you the uh, RAM usage of this ROM. And as you can see this ROM uses like 1.7 gigabytes of the whole RAM which is a bit more than the half you know it's not the best RAM usage I've ever seen but it's still okay for a Note 7 ROM. And yeah, so the RAM usage is also quite okay here. 
So the coolest thing about this ROM here is definitely the always on display. So as you can see the always on display is fully working on this device and even the touch screen is working here. So you can swipe to get um, these different modes, you can see your alarm there, you can see uh, your music there, you can see the calendar there. So it's really amazing to see that the touch screen is working here. You also have all your notifications there and you also have this home button there which is also working and this is really amazing to see because the Galaxy Note 3 usually doesn't have this pressure sensor so when you press on this button for two seconds the screen will turn on so this is really amazing to see on this ROM. So this here was a short video showing you how to install the Galaxy Note 8 and the Galaxy S8 ROM on the Samsung Galaxy Note, uh, Note 3. If you liked this video give it a thumbs up, if you didn't like this video give it a dislike, as always and peace out.